How old am I now? Yeah. Uh, 54? Yeah. Uh, I, I'll be 54 next month. You're just going south right on, yeah. So, well, so I got you by 10 years. I'm 64. You got me by, oh, you got me by some years. years. Yeah. Hey, it's uh, Pete Koch and breaking it down here with uh, good friend Sterling Fallen. We're going to talk, we, you know, we, we, we know each other so well, uh, mainly from the gym. Yeah, from the gym. And, uh, was that been, when we first met? Was that the gym, though? I'm trying to think. Um, I'm not sure. But it, hang on, it's, it's Pete Koch. We're breaking it down. We'll get to it. Yeah. Hey guys, Pete Koch here, breaking it down with Mr. Sterling Fall, and we were just talking about how long we've known each other. Yeah. Is it twenty something? Twenty years. something years. Yeah, we worked At on least a, twenty something years. We we worked on a commercial together that was uh, it was Miller Beer, but I'm not positive. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but where we see each other all the time now is 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 the gym, yes. right? Yeah. So, just what? How old do you think this guy is? Ah, uh, about thirty six. <laughs> Sixty. <laughs> Six zero, oh. so yeah, 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 yeah. that's not. This doesn't happen. You don't look like this when you're sixty by accident. There's a lot of work that goes in. It's, and uh, he's a workout nut. You, you yeah. gotta. I tell people, or I tell folks I work with, if you want to look good as you, especially as you age, become a workout nut. Yep. What do you What are you doing? Yep. I do weights, so a couple times a week. I do serious yoga. weights. Serious weights. I know I'm thin, but I do weights. I got some muscle. I do yoga two three times a week. I bicycle about 100 miles a week. I like Serious? to do more. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, I'll do Thursday, I'll do 50 miles. And on Saturday, I'll do 50 miles with a, buddy, a couple buddies of mine. And I take one day off, usually Sundays, to rest. And But usually I'm working out six days a week. Well, not to mention, I mean, just randomly, yeah. uh, three weeks ago, I go down to the beach to take a run. Who's running? Running. Sprints Sprinting. in the deep sand. But big old boots at, on. At this, at, with boots on. Oh, no, at the sand actually, with my Iverson uh, uh, sneakers. Incredible. <laughs> so he's like pounding hundred meters sprints Pound, in the heavy sand. So the, yeah. not to mention that's the kind of stuff. But that was yeah. just you yeah. just felt like you needed to get some. Well, I, I started sprinting because this. And you know, Rick Valenti told me this. I think it was Rick said, uh, "It's better to sprint as opposed to running the long distances. Mm -hmm. It's easier on your joints." Because you're running sprinting in the sand is easier on, on your knees and your ankles. So I started sprinting as opposed to running like several miles a day. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's why I was doing it and you saw me. And it works out, it, you know, and I, and I have less pain in my, my lower extremities because of that. Because and of he's sprinting. absolutely ripped. So yeah, that's the I'm real ripped. deal. So I'm ripped. <laughs> how, <laughs> you, you, work, you work out to look good, you work out to feel good, yeah. but also as a professional photographer and, uh, uh, and increasingly you're busy with videographer, you're yeah. a business owner. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're developing a, a, an apparel line. You need energy. Yes. I mean, how does it make you feel? I mean, is that is that part of? Well, it goes to be you shooting. I'm shooting beautiful young ladies and, and men too, and they look great. And I'm much older, so I have to pretty much, you know, carry my weight. Mm -hmm. as, so sure. to speak, you know, uh, no pun intended, but that's important uh, because as you get older, your energy just slows down. You can't do what you used to do, but. You know, by working out, it gives you a little bit of pop there because you you have more confidence in the way you look, and so I think it's very very important. And the nutrition, oh nutrition, of course. I don't eat. Uh, try to stay away from gluten. Mm -hmm. uh, very very little bread, if any at all. I do uh, no pork, no beef. I do chicken, turkey. I'm not a. I mean, if I get hungry enough, somebody put a steak in front of me, and I'd eat it. So I'm not like philosophical, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but no no I usually just eat the chicken and the fish and the lean meats you know I'll eat a little buffalo once in a while too you know for the folks that don't know Sterling has been a mainstay in um, the modeling world starting in New York City and then carried that out here to Hollywood for about three decades yeah. and did you develop these habits because a lot of people think you know uh, th sometimes people tether the idea that models are not particularly disciplined that they're, they're just to be. naturally beautiful people no, and they get their picture taken no you have to be disciplined as a model because you can't stay out all night and party because you have to shoot you have to shoot at six in the morning be expect you on the set you know you go up with your eyes red and you know looking all haggard they're not gonna they're not gonna book you again so that's very important you know but really i really got probably let me see i started working out at the gym where we you know where we worked out together should we mention the gym yeah 
Yeah, Gold's Gold's Gym. Gold's Gym but that's yeah, the Mecca. I, yeah, I started at Gold's probably in the mid '90s, and before that, I was at uh, Sports Connection, which is now I think something else. Uh, so I was. So I guess you know I've been doing it. I always did stuff. I always participated in whether I was playing like football, basketball, or something. But the gym thing didn't start until probably about the early, early 90s. Okay. You know, really, oh, really devoted to the gym stuff. It was the early 90s. But like I said, you don't have to go to a gym. You can work out on the beach as long yeah. as you run. Or you can do yoga at home, you know, whatever. Uh, but the gym, one thing about the gym, if you're paying for it, you're going to go. Uh, you tend to. You tend to hope go. so. Yeah, and, that's, and it, it's partly what's in my brain when absolutely. I think about Absolutely. That's a lot of people say, well, you know, I need a trainer. I don't need a trainer because I know what I'm doing. And I know my body and what I need. To but if that gives you the incentive... And the discipline to do it because you're paying a the trainer, then go for it. Right. You know? So. Photography, the clothing line is pending. So that's baby. It's but coming we'll, we're, we're going to have you uh, discuss that uh, okay. in the future. Okay. But how, how do folks get a hold of you now? You get a hold of me on Instagram, Mr. Sterling. Check the photographs absolutely Check off the my chart. Photographs out. And follow. And follow. Yeah. Please follow. And of course, my website, sterlingfallen.com or Sterling Fallen Images, either one. But the Instagram, because I'm, I'm a big, big believer in social media. Uh, I mean, yeah. there's crazy stuff on social media too, but it, as far as getting your stuff out there and getting exposure. And say, it, be, say the address again for on Instagram. Sterling.fallen. There it is. Last name, like past tense, F-A-L-L-E-N, fallen. Great. Thanks for breaking it down with me today. Right. I appreciate it, old friend. Yeah. Okay, we'll do it next time. See you soon on yeah. Breaking It Down.